what's up Aries this is Crystal with one little crystal tarot and this is your energy lab going into beginning of August tarot reading do me a favor if anything in this reading resonates with you please hit the like button the like button share comment subscribe to the channel definitely subscribe to the channel because once i reach 100 subscribers i will be choosing one lucky subscriber for a free 30 minute reading okay so be sure to subscribe okay i'm like 15 away 14 away from 100 so yeah go ahead subscribe to the channel oh and hit the notification bell too so you can get notified each and every time i post a video okay all right, this is for the sun, moon, and rising signs of Aries. Y'all forgive me. It's been taking me a while to get all of these done because it takes like 24 hours to get one freaking video uploaded. I've got to find a new method. Seriously. Maybe I have to start uploading um, in the middle of the night or something. I don't know. All right, Aries, let's see what you got going on. You have the moon in reverse. You have Ace of Pentacles in reverse. You have three of cups. You have knight of swords in reverse. And you have the chariot. This is weird, uh, Aries. Very weird. Um... Before I even get into it, let me just go ahead and clarify. I don't even want to unpack this yet. Let's see. You have Seven of Pentacles. You have Six of Pentacles in reverse. Ooh. Oh, we got a jumper here. Three of Wands, let's set that to the side. You have Two of Cups in reverse. Ooh, you went from the three to the two in reverse. You have Four of Swords. And you have Five of Swords in reverse. So... Aries, what it looks like um, is that you are setting yourself apart from a crowd, okay? This could be in a good way. This could be like in a romantic situation. You could just be taking your exit. Um, because I feel like there was just too many people involved here, okay? There is a crowd. And I have to say that because, I mean, this card could represent reuniting and celebrating and, you know, it could be, um, it could be a celebratory card. But because it's clarified by two of cups in reverse, yep, you guys were a part of a, a trio, okay, and somebody left the trio. So somebody's leaving the trio, okay, with the uh, two of cups in reverse. So you're like, no, I feel like this is your energy. I feel like you're like, no, um, I have to make my exit. I feel like with the Knight of Swords in reverse, clarified by the Six of Pentacles, you just weren't seeing reciprocity. Okay, you weren't getting back what you were putting out. Somebody shortchanged you or you were shortchanging someone else okay remember that the energies in readings are interchangeable so this could be your energy this could be the other person's energy 
you know, whoever is influencing the situation, okay? So just, you use this reading, I mean, you use um, the situation as you see fit in your life. So you just move things around as you see fit, okay? Anyways, um, you could be dealing with a cancer here with the chariot. Yeah, the chariot clarified by the seven of pentacles. I feel like you're moving on. Like, I feel like maybe you've invested time into something else like if there if there is a breakup here i feel like you know it could be uh disheartening but at the same time you do have other things going for yourself so it's like yeah this is a loss but at the same time i have time invested elsewhere so you could have either i feel like for some of you not all of you you could have been in some sort of situation but you might have had somebody in your back pocket you know what i'm saying you might have had a spare tire so you like let me go ahead and just make my exit from this situation and move on to something else okay because you just wasn't receiving i feel like some somebody just wasn't your equal you have Ace of Pentacles in reverse, clarified by Four of Swords. So, I feel like maybe somebody tried to make an offer to you, but it just wasn't, like I said, it, it wasn't reciprocity. Like, they weren't offering you what it is that you were offering them. So, even though, this isn't for all Aries. Like I said, this is for whoever's dating right now. I may have a message come to me for those who are actually married and in committed relationships. Just give me a second. Um, but for those of you that are dating, I feel like, you know, you could have been sort of committed to this one person, but they weren't your equal financially, and you are having to, it's like, because they weren't your equal, they may have tried to show some sort of reciprocity, they may have try to make some type of offer to you but it just wasn't good enough like you know you're just like no i deserve much better than this um for those of you that are like in committed relationships or married i feel like um there could have been like it could have been a third party situation it doesn't necessarily mean that somebody was cheating i mean that still could be a possibility here but um I mean, you would know. So if you haven't had any like signs of cheating or anything like that, or you're not cheating, then that that probably just isn't the case. Maybe this is somebody that has an opinion where it doesn't belong. You know, maybe somebody budding in your business, maybe trying to influence you or your partner. Um, and it's going to cause you to kind of make a choice between, uh, I don't want to say like your partner and the other person, but it. I mean, the relationship is at a crossroads at this point. Like, you know, maybe you're going to change how you're going to be dealing with this person from now on. There's definitely going to be some sort of change. I feel like something's going to be revealed with the moon being here in reverse. And the moon has moved into Cancer. This may have something to do with this chariot card being here. But the moon moved into Cancer today, as a matter of fact. So, um, for those of you... Who have cancer in your chart or you may you may know someone with cancer in their chart or something like that um they may have something to tell you uh or you may have something to tell someone but it's some it's some sort of it's gonna bring some sort of relief i feel like with the five of swords being in reverse so i feel like even though there is some sort of breakup or um some sort of alteration in a relationship it's for the best because it's like i feel like if there's been like any ongoing issues like um any disagreements arguments it's because somebody's been holding back how they truly feel and with the three of wands um being a jumper in the background it's, it's definitely something that you've been waiting on i feel like some of you have been shortchanged. like there's been some sort of uh it's been unequal and you just you just been wondering like well why am i always getting the short end of the stick or the other person cross watcher whoever it's like why am i always getting the short end of the stick why am i always doing all the calling or all the texting or all the visiting or i'm the one that's always paying the tab like what what's going on here <laughs> what's up like let me know what's up and then some of you are going to be getting your answer 
uh, going into the end of the week, beginning of August, you're going to be getting some clarity and some answers on why it is that you haven't been receiving what it is that you want or cross watcher. Maybe you're going to be um, seeing Aries kind of move on and investing into something other than you unfortunately i do apologize but that's just how it is aries i feel like y'all are just going to be moving on and um accepting the fact that you know you're just not getting out what you're putting in into this situation okay so now i'm going to pull an oracle card for you all from um where's my book oh let's see This is from the Chakra Insight Oracle deck. And for those of you that are just like totally single, this could just be a friendship. Or this could be like a, with your manager or co-worker. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, take it how it resonates. Maybe you have could have been looking for a new job. And that new job is, you know, looking a little more stable for you. Because, you know, you're just not getting back what you've been putting into your job like you've been putting a lot of effort a lot of time into it but i feel like maybe they you could have been offered a raise but it just wasn't enough like you're just like okay 20 cent raise really <laughs> you know what i'm saying like you know i'm not getting vacation time you know what i'm saying like what what the fuck is this you know whatever you know what i'm saying aries point blank you feel short changed but it's okay because I feel like, as a matter of fact, your last reading was called Plan B. Y'all going with Plan B for real. <laughs> you like, all right, I see what it is. Okay, let's see. Aries. You have sexuality. Mm. Openness, sharing, beauty, honor. So, um, did somebody else have this card? I want to say maybe Gemini. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. I want to say Gemini had that same Oracle card. So if this is like regarding relationships, some of you could be dealing with Geminis at this time. Because I believe I pulled the same Oracle card for them. And the number is 13. So, um, those of you that are into numerology, you can look up the number 13. It may be significant in your life right now. Okay. It is time to express and experience your passions and desires. To honor the power of your sexual energy as a sacred creative life force. Not only in your union with another, but also in your life. On a surface level, this card is an invitation to become aware of and communicate your sexual values. Well, I left off on Oh, shit. <laughs> Needs and wants with your partner. <laughs> I'm stupid. Okay. Talk about what you enjoy. Open the pathway to move beyond fears or restrictions that you each may carry from the past. Honor your true feelings about sex and sexuality. On a deeper level, it is time to raise your awareness of the divine aspects of your own sexual energy. To acknowledge yourself as a sexual being, not as popular culture perceives it, but as a pure expression of creative life force in all aspects of your being. It is time to become comfortable with the unique essence of your physical form, who you are, your coloring and textures, the way you dress, your fragrance, and body language. Expand your daily expression of your own inner fire and sexuality. Seek to recognize and feel this divine energy in your intimate partner as well as in yourself. Acknowledge the beauty in meeting together of two souls. Feel the energy exchange. Allow the pure love and pleasure of giving and receiving to envelop you and move through you. Allow yourself to be fully present in that sacred space. Expressing your sexual essence can be innocent and intense, playful and fulfilling, joyfully creative and deeply sacred. Honor the sacred power of your sexual energy in life. Okay, so, um, Aries, for some of you, you may have some soul ties that you are needing to break right now. I just had to 
I don't know, that just came to me, especially with the sexual stuff, all the sacred energy, life force, creative force, da 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 I feel like some of y'all got some um, sex ties that you need to break, okay? Some of you could have children with this person. I don't have any cards here regarding children, but um, that could very well be the case here. Um, I really feel like some of you are dealing with an air sign, a Gemini specifically. Because I do have one, two, three, three sword cards here. Two pinnacle cards, so a little bit of earth. Well, no, three pinnacle cards too, so a little bit of earth as well. So, um, Aries. All in all, you have to break these soul ties. You have to move on. You have to know where your worth is. You know what I'm saying? You have to know. You have to move where you're valued, where you're appreciated. And I feel like in, in the place that you're in now, some of you could feel like sex is how it has or hold, holds more value than it actually does. You know what I'm saying? It's not all about sex. I don't care how amazing and great the sex is. Um, there's amazing and great sex other places as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's a cycle, okay? No matter how how good you think this penis or this vagina is, <laughs> whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's plenty, it's plenty of it out there, you know what I'm saying? It's plenty of it out there. Good sex comes a dime a dozen, okay? Like, I'm just here, here to tell you, it's all in your mind, it's all in your head. That's on a surface level. You know, honestly, on a deeper level, good sex comes from uh, the connection. So once you have a deep spiritual connection with someone, you know, regardless of the size or whatever, you know, everything will come in and it will be great sex because you guys have that great deep connection so it starts there not it doesn't start with sex itself you know what i'm saying so i feel like some of the issues could stem from the sexual relationship that you've developed with someone thinking that oh because this person has a great um has amazing sex this must be my soulmate or this must be um a divine union when no that's that's so superficial you know what i'm saying it doesn't come from sex it comes from the emotional connection that you make with a person um it comes not just emotional con the emotional connection it can also come from um a past life connection too like you know just that feeling of knowing someone and and not really even you know like say you meet someone for the first time but it's just like you feel like you've met them before you met them in a past life and that could very well be true you know it's just a, a deeper thing you know what i'm saying it's just not about good sex because so many um relationships get ruined just based off of sex you know what i'm saying like you know how many children are born from good sex and then raised in uh terrible <laughs> broken down households just because it was good sex like no no okay that's for some of you that's not for everybody but for those of you who are like dealing with like career issues and sexuality comes up maybe there has been some um sex going on in the workplace and sex and work does not mix okay you cannot mix that with the professional environment okay or maybe some of you are um, could be dealing with poor body image and you're just not as confident as you would like to be right now i don't know but sexuality came up for a reason so um i would say definitely unblock your sacral chakra go ahead and look into that but okay aries that's all i got for you today you guys are definitely moving on all right you're moving on with your life getting on with it all right, if you guys would like to book a personal reading, details on that is listed in the description box below, okay? Don't forget to hit the like button if anything resonates with you in this reading. And um, also subscribe to the channel, comment, whatever your thing is. <laughs> but that's all I have for you today. Until next time, Aries, peace, love, and light.